This is a short training video to demonstrate how you can add template code into a CodeGen template to override and allow you to specify the name of the output file that's created when code is created based on that template. So let's get started. Here I've got a very simple um, environment that I've configured. As you can see, I've simply set logical names or environment variables for the repository I want to use, and um, also specifying the default template directory and output directory as my current directory. I've pre-created a little template called getRecord.tpl. Let's take a quick look at that template in Workbench. And what you'll see is that this template is basically a template that creates a very simple Synergy function um, called get and the name of the structure. We're using a, uh, a primary key construct and within it a segment loop to define in parameters for our primary key segments. And we've got a required out parameter, which is going to return an instance of the record that matches the key value that's passed in. So it's a simple read a record routine. Um, the rest of the code in the template isn't that interesting. Um, it's simply loading the key values that are passed in into the record so that it can then use the percent key val routine to, um, to put together the value of the primary key using that in a read statement and returning the, uh, the data through the out parameter called a structure name. So a very simple subroutine or functioning, in fact, that gets created. We're not really interested in what the code does. We're really interested in this tutorial on what is the name of the, uh, the output file. So let's leave that structure open. In fact, let's flip back to our environment and generate some code from that template. My um, repository has a simple structure in there called part. So we'll use that. And let's go ahead and generate the code. So we're going to use the template, get record, and we're going to use the structure part. And let's see what we get. In fact, let's use the minus LF command line, which simply says list files. So that will also display the names of the files that are created uh, there. And you can see it says one file created part get record .dbl. So by default, when you're using repository information, um, CodeGen defaults to creating the name of the output file based on the name of the structure followed by an underscore and then followed by the name of the template that was being uh, being used so part is the structure and get underscore record was the template and we might we might want to cause the file to be called something else let's go and have a look at what was actually in that generated source code so let's just refresh the um, the open file view in uh, in workbench and we can see here's the part get record dbl file that was created with the uh, the generated source code and you can see that the name of the function is actually get part and that was determined by, if we refer back to our, uh, our template, we've got get structure name using the, uh, this variation of the structure name to get the upper and lower casing of the, of the word and so on. So it would be nice to be able to use that same construct to be able to determine the name of the output file. So let's go ahead and copy that. And what we're going to do is add a special code gen token that is called code gen underscore file name. Now, if you use this token, it has an opening and closing um, token. So code gen file name. And another requirement is that this special token must be used on the first line of the template file. And within there, we can put code to determine what we would like the name of the output file to be. So we'll use the same construct, get structure name dot dbl. And in fact, within the code gen file name uh, tokens, you can use um, any valid code gen generic and structure tokens. And, and if you're not sure what all of those are, you can find sections on both of those in the documentation. So this should instruct um, code gen to create a file called get and then the name of the structure dot dbl. So let's go ahead and save that template. And then we'll switch back to our command line environment and simply rerun the same generation command. And this time you'll see that CodeGen has created the file called getpart.dbl. Nothing um, within the file itself has changed. It's simply the name of the file that was generated. So the code is exactly the same. Um, you know, the CodeGen file name token is just determining the name of the output file. 